Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco. Thanks for stopping in. We've got another review for you. Um, we are going to review the Castellero de Diablo, del Diablo, uh, Sauvignon Blanc 2007. This is from uh, Chile. And for those of you that have been paying attention, uh, back on episode 15, I reviewed the um, Explorador uh, Malbec. Also from the same producer, except the Explorador is from Argentina, not Chile. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, so we got this, uh, I'm sorry, $8.99 at HEB. So, I got this recently. Um, now, I've had this particular label of uh, wine, uh, the Casalero. I've had that particular um, label in the past with, with other wines. I don't think I've had the Sauvignon Blanc before. But uh, I've had um, some of the res that they produce. Um, they're a good value wine. And uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. Definitely getting some citrus in here. Um, kind of lemony a little bit. It's not too hot. Um, you know, there's a little bit of that alcohol. Remember, this is room temperature, effectively. Not bad. Let's check it out. So I'm getting some good acid with it, um, getting those citrus flavors. And I thought I got something else. Let me try it again. A, you know what it, it actually I think it's like red pepper and more specifically like the, the crushed red pepper you know you put in your pizza um, put in your pasta whatever it's, it has is that crushed red pepper quality to it um, pretty good. I definitely like it. Um, let's see what they say in the back here. Um, fresh on my block with intense aromas of citrus fruit and gooseberries and a zesty mouth watering flavor. Um, I could, couldn't tell you what a gooseberry smells like or tastes like. So if it's in there, that's cool. I can't, you know, I wouldn't know what, what it is. Tastes pretty good. Um, give it, uh, give it an 87. Um, I do like it. Definitely would get it again. Uh, little thing about um, <clears throat> this particular thing is definitely 100% Sauvignon Blanc, uh, and just like everything south of the equator, uh, this is harvested. Not everything's harvested in March, but this particular uh, uh, vintage they harvested in March and they age this four to six months in stainless steel tanks. Um, I won't go through the whole uh, history as I believe I did that in episode 15, but uh, I would uh, definitely get it again. The producer is Concha y Toro. I don't think I mentioned that already, but they're the same producers of Explorador. And uh, these are imported, I believe, by Banff, Banffy, Banffy. Anyway, um, maybe this isn't. They used to be, or at some point they were. Do some of the research I was doing, but uh, oh, and uh, the reason for the name, and this is this is kind of a little funny. So uh, I'll just read, I'll just read the text off the bottle. More than a hundred years ago, Don Melcor de Concha y Toro reserved 
uh, for himself an exclusive batch of the best vines he, uh, he best vines he produced. And to keep strangers away from his private reserve, he spread the rumor that the devil lived inside that place. Hence the name Casalero de Diablo, del Diablo, or Cellar of the Devil. This was on the label on the website. They said that he found out that his workers were drinking his best wine and to scare them. That's where the name came from. So uh, I, I think the website's probably a little closer to uh, you want to make sure that the people weren't drinking the stuff they were producing because they were going after the good stuff. Hey, you know what? Anyway, um, cool. Uh, this is Tuesday's episode? Yeah, because Monday, yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, tomorrow, more Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, we're going to check that out. Uh, that's all I got for today. Make sure you hit the links. Uh, friend me up on uh, on Twitter. Yes, the account was suspended for a little bit. I know I'm, re this, I'm recording this on Monday because um, I got a bunch of stuff I got to get done tomorrow and Wednesday. So I got to um, make sure I get these in the can first. But uh, so I'm back, better than ever. Um, so thankfully, Twitter got that whole mess fixed up. So we're back up. Uh, so friend me up on Twitter. Friend me up on Facebook. Uh, leave comments below, send me emails, and uh, we'll see everybody again next time. Thanks for stopping in.